What is up guys, it's Cal, and in this video I'm going to show you how to get the achievement Treasures, let's uh, bring it up here, Treasures of Stormsong Valley. Now for this achievement you need to discover the hidden treasures of Stormsong Valley and there's a total of 10 of them. Now there's a various small treasure chests in every zone, those do not pertain to this achievement at all, these are named chests. And these chests can have things like war supplies, they can also have azurites in them, they can have random grey things that you can sell. I'm going to show you where they all are, and they're all marked on my map here, uh, even, well, that's handy notes. But they're all marked on my map, I will tell you the coordinates in case you have TomTom, -tom. that's a coordinate add-on I use, but I'll also of course show where it is exactly. And of course Horde and Alliance can get all these, because Horde can come on Kulturas. But anyways, let's get started. So for the first one, it is called the Smuggler Stash, and it's located at 58.60, 83.88. And I was just at uh, Brennadam, as you just saw in that last clip. I just went south of there, down this river, and you can see it right there. It's under under these wood planks. So this is this is the location of it. Let's just go under here. If we can get there. There we go. And got some war resources and some gold. Chest number two is just west of that lo last location. It is the Frosty Treasure Chest, and this one's located at 48.96, 84.07. Uh, but currently, we're at a spot that's at uh, 48.91, 78.57, because this is a path. So it's a pathway. This is right beside the uh, Lycan King. Lycan King is just right over there. That rare in Stormsong Valley. And we're going to go up this up this pathway there if you're a horde there's also i believe a horde flight path right beside this chest location um so just heading up here to the snowy region and there's a chest the uh frosty treasure chest And it had some uh, battle scarred augment runes. Those are the augment runes of this expansion. They give 60 of your main stat. And now the third chest is the carved wooden chest. And it's at 44.4473.53. This is the quill bore area. So this is where the last chest was. I just came right down here to get this chest. So let's uh, go over to where that chest is right now. You'll see this uh, pit down here. You can fall down there if you want. We're not going to fall all the way down there. But we will fall maybe about half the way. Half the way-ish. So, come around here. This this is probably one of those chests where it'll be a lot easier when flying is enabled. But currently in the expansion, there's no flying. So you'll see this little indent here where you can fall right onto this uh, platform which leads into a cave. You'll always want to back up onto it because if you go forward, um, there's forward motion that will send you flying off so just like to back up off of it so then there's this cave here and we're going to walk into the cave so let's go in there and here is the carved wooden chest which has a pig nose put on a pig nose allowing you to sniff out rare truffles in stormsong valley amazing Chest number four, so we're back above Brennan Dam, and this is a questing area where you have to like put out some fires, I'm pretty sure. There's just some quests around here. And we are going to go to the discarded lunchbox, which is at 58.21, 63.68. And it's in this shed. This shed over here. And it's on it's on a bookshelf, I believe. So let's see, it should be. There it is. Took me a minute to see. And we're going to kind of uh, parkour our way up there. Do that, some of that, some of that. If you don't have disengage, you can still probably get up there, get on that barrel right there, jump up there. And this is the discarded lunchbox, which had an unforgettable luncheon in it. Delightfully devilish. Now chest number five, I, I I think it's number five, is right up here. This world quest is kind of covering it, but it is the sunken strong box. It's at 67.22, 43.21, and it is under this ship right here. There's also some quests here uh, for you to do if you get to that part. But we're going to go under the ship, and there it is. The sunken strong box. And let's see what it has inside of it. 
some polished pet charms, gold, and some other crap. Now, chest number 6 is not too far from the last one. This is the Hidden Scholar's Chest, which is at 59.91, 39.07, and it's on the roof of a building at a sage hold. So we're going to come in here, and the building is, is this building right here. But you need to get on the roof of it somehow. And you get on, okay, come on, man. And you get on the roof of it by going around here and dodge all these guys. I don't really feel like killing them. There's stairs that's kind of blocked by this tree. Go around here. Around here. And there it is. The Hidden Scholar's Chest. Which had some gold and war resources. Chest number 7 in Stormsong Valley is all the way at the very north point. It's the Weathered Treasure Chest, which is at 66.92, 12.03. And this one's actually, not only is it on an island, a remote island at the north of it, but it's also pretty well hidden. So I'm just on my Water Strider, going around the side of the mountain here. You just want to keep going to the side until you're about at the northwest point to the shore. And we're going to come up onto the shore. And it's actually, it's in a cave. I believe it's under this tree that my cursor's on. We're going to get up here. And then up here. And yep, this is, this is the cave. So, just showing this is where it's at. Go into this cave. There's going to be a quill boar you have to kill. I don't really feel like killing him. So I'm going to feign death. And then there's also two guys that are look like they're guarding this chest. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the chest while one of them's ice trapped. And it gave me some gold and some war supplies and some things to vendor. So for chest number eight, this is the Venture Company Supply Chest. Now from that last chest, which was over here, I just ran across the water on my water strider to this one. This one's at 36.69, 23.23. And it's actually on this ship right here. You can actually see it from right here. That's it. And to get on the ship, you're just gonna click the ladder. So this is what it all looks like. And then we're going to click this ladder and I don't want to really uh, have to deal with you right now. Oh good, I pulled two of them. That's fine. Now we're going to open this chest. War resources, some gold, and a thing to vendor. The ninth chest is the old ironbound chest, which is uh, just right here at 42.85, 47.23. And we're going to go into a cave where there's some bears. Uh, there's also, there's Alliance flat points around here if you want to get here closer. But we're just going to run around this way. And we should come up to the cave here in a second. It is just right here where this bear is. He's in front of the cave. We're going to go into this cave. And we're just going to, we're going to open this here chest. Where there's a lot of sleeping bears around it. Oh, that don't work. And it gave us some, what is this? Shanty sheet music, some gold, and some more resources. The tenth and final chest is the forgotten chest, which is at 46, 30.69. And we're on this path right here. Right here. And we're going to run up this path. I believe there is a horde camp up here. I just know that there's some, some quests around this area. Yeah, here are the horde symbols. So we're going to... I believe take a left here, yep, where this mine is, and we're going to go above the mine. We're going to go up some mountains. So just going past these orcs, uh, once again, if, you've, if, if you're if you watching this video and flying is enabled, all this is a whole lot easier, because you can just fly right there. But we're going to go past that mine, up here, along this ridge, don't fall off, and then up here some more. And it's at the very top. You see the uh, wind wind structure and then this pillar. It's actually right behind this pillar is our 10th and final chest. So let's open that. Right here. And that will give you your treasures of Stormsong achievement. It gave us some gray things to sell, some more resources, and uh, some gold. Yeah, some gold. So 
there you have it. So those are all of the treasures of Stormsong Valley. I'm kind of sad that there wasn't like a toy or there wasn't a pet in them because Tears Guard Sound had a really cool toy and then a Dress Far had a cool pet, the Wicker Pup pet. I guess the one for this area might be the, uh, well, you know, I was going to say the pig nose, but I didn't realize that that was a one-time use thing. So anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, if it was helpful at all to you, you can leave a like on it. You can sub to the channel for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.